Hi there, it's DJV, and in this video, I'm going to be running you through the process of disassembling and reassembling the Iwata Eclipse airbrush. This is really important for cleaning and troubleshooting with any problems you run into. So starting with the back of the airbrush, you unscrew the body, then you want to unscrew the needle nut. To unscrew the head, and out will come the nozzle with the small nozzle attachment. And you wanna pull the needle through the front of the airbrush so that you don't drag paint residue through the body of the airbrush. Then you can unscrew the nozzle cap. You can also unscrew the main body screw that inserts in the back of the airbrush. Out with this will come the trigger keeper and a little spring. Then you can just pull out the trigger. And I keep a quick release on my airbrush so that unscrews easily. To disassemble the air valve, I use tweezers and twist in a counterclockwise direction. Pull that keeper out and then out will come another small spring and a little rod with an O-ring on it. Then to unscrew the nozzle off of the nozzle, you want to use an Iwata nozzle wrench. This is really important. These are really easy to break and very delicate, so that wrench is required. And you've disassembled your airbrush completely. To reassemble, we reverse these steps, putting the air valve rod with the O-ring first and the spring onto that rod. We pick up the keeper with the tweezers and we twist that into the base of the airbrush till it is hand tight. Don't ever over tighten things. Then I will put the trigger keeper back inside the brush and drop that trigger inside. It's hard sometimes to line it up, but it should fit into that little hole. The spring goes inside. The large screw piece goes over top of that and screws in. This has quite a few threads on it, so it takes a second to screw all the way in. At this point, your trigger should work normally. Then I will take the small nozzle head, screw that back into the nozzle using the Iwata nozzle wrench so that I don't wreck this delicate part. I will insert that back into the airbrush. I will insert the nozzle cap over top and twist to hand tight and the nozzle cap. I will insert the needle through the back of the airbrush until it stops, rescrew the needle nut, and rescrew the back body of the airbrush. And here you have your fully functioning Iwata Eclipse. I reattach my quick release hose adapter as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helped in learning how to disassemble and reassemble your Iwata Eclipse airbrush. This has been DJB and happy airbrushing.